Grissom here. Well, hello, Commodore. It took me a while to track you down. Have you been waiting long? Not long. Do you have any news for me? It's over. You've been cleared of all responsibility. The conditions you endured were unprecedented and frankly inexplicable. You are hereby reinstated to your command, effective immediately. You leave space dock in two weeks. That should give you enough time to gather up your crew if possible and... and replace crew if needed. Thank you, Admiral. Off the record, I never doubted you, Sam. I don't think any of us did. It's just when a ship comes back in that sort of condition, especially in peacetime. I understand. There must be a thorough investigation, a log for future reference, and no captain may be immune to the process. I knew you'd see it that way. Now, I have one more bit of information for you. There have been some recent events with the Romulan Empire. Starfleet Command is engaging in a covert operation. If it's successful, years of conflict can be avoided. War between Starfleet and the Romulan Empire? No, internal conflict. They're messy. They spread out and make life miserable for their neighbors as well. Just be aware that you may be contacted to lead a very sensitive, very delicate mission. I'll do my best, Admiral, but when? That'll have to do for now. I've said enough already. Now, get back to your ship and your life. Thank you, Admiral, and I do appreciate your faith in me. Dr. Tamara? Commander Denson, the Commodore said you would be joining us. I'd like you to meet our science officer, uh, Lieutenant Commander Sandra Piper. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I've been looking forward to meeting you, Commander. Your work with the Omega-19 crystals has been well known in the Vulcan medical community. It was nothing, really. Once I decoded the biometric impulses emanated by the crystals, it was just a matter of matching the various genetic codes to known indigenous species until we discovered their true origin. You, on the other hand, Commander, are very well known to all the Academy graduates. You dominate the entire chapter on petropedes in all the xenobiology textbooks. Well, looks like this could be the beginnings of a beautiful friendship. Doctor, did Grissom mention why he asked us here? 
No, Commander, but it is obvious. The inquiry into the Cromwell Nebula incident was recently closed. Commodore Grissom was found to be without fault. The repairs to the Dominion are nearly complete. Logically, he has summoned us here to announce that we will launch them. Well, if you're right... Of course I'm right. I would not have said otherwise. <laughs> well, if you're right, I'll try to act surprised. I will not. You must be Dr. Tamalin, Commander Denson. I'm Commander Jason Brassell. And this is Lieutenant Commander Sandra Piper. This is Ensign Justin Town. It's a pleasure to meet you, Commander. Commodore Grissom has spoken very highly of you. Thank you, Mr. Taft. And Commander Brusso, I have heard much about you. Oh, really? All of the good, I hope. Your accomplishments are quite impressive. Thank you, Doctor. And Ensign, you have earned quite a reputation of being a genius in astral navigation and piloting. It's in the Taft genes. There have been navigators in my family for as far back as we can find records. Not only in space, but on Earth's oceans as well. Can I get you anything? I'd like a double espresso, please. And I'll have a Danubian Lime Devil. Thank you. I'm glad to see everybody could make it. Dr. Tamaro, it's good to be working with you again. Thank you, Commodore. And I find it agreeable also. I see you're all getting acquainted. Mr. Brasso, as you may have guessed, is our new XO. Thank you, sir. I've been keeping up on returning personnel as well as replacements, and I'm happy to report we're about 95% manned. Excellent. I have checked that, and it's good to see almost everybody's returning. And for those who are replacements, I'm very pleased. That's good news, sir. I thought it would have been difficult to accomplish that. Believe me, it was quite a task to do with everybody scattered halfway across the quadrant. Commander Piper here, for example, was on some backward planet studying some type of frog in habitation. I'm not quite sure what that was about, but uh, you don't know how to rest, do you, Commander? <laughs> I am very pleased with the replacements like Dr. Tamaro and Mr. Brasso. So, uh, Commander, I can't imagine what it took the Commodore to pry you away from Commodore Wesley. You're probably better off not knowing all the details. I'm confused. Exactly how did Commander Brusso get affixed to Commodore Wesley? Dr. Tamaro, it's a metaphor. You'll pick these things up over time. Speaking of picking things up, I thought I'd have to be picking up a new chief engineer for a while. Uh, yes, you must be referring to my uh, brush with retirement. That I was. You're what, six months older than I am? It's no time to retire. I know, but I'm back now. If you don't mind me asking, what made you change your mind? Well, I, I just realized that there's nothing I could do in retirement that I don't I would enjoy more than uh, being on the Dominion. So I asked them nicely, and they reactivated me. I do not understand why anyone would want to retire. I'm not leaving the fleet until I'm forced to. I'd like to propose a toast to the best crew of Starfleet. May we all be forced to leave. Wait, that didn't come <laughs> <laughs> To the Dominion. To the Dominion. Dominion. I hope I'm not too late. You're fine, Chief. This is an informal gathering. I'm sure you'll be punctual once we're underway. <clears throat> Won't happen again, sir. This is our new transporter, Chief, and second engineer, John Brooks. Chief Brooks, my condolences, of course. If you ever need to talk, my door is open to you. Thank you. But I've been counseled and analyzed for the last two years. I understand how you feel you could find no solace from your father's successor. The offer does stand. I understand. It's nothing like that, Doctor. Of course. I'll drop by. Can I get you anything else? You could warm up my espresso if you wouldn't mind. No thanks. I'm good. I bet you are. <clears throat> but I wanted another one of these. 
I would not advise that, Commander. You, like me, are drinking the Syrian Banshee. More than one would put you in the sick bay. But I like the little floaties. <laughs> uh, thank you for approving my transfer, sir. I was afraid you might question my motives for requesting it. Questioning your motives never came into play, Chief. I assume you harbor some reservations, but it doesn't matter. Your record speaks for itself, and I'm happy to have you join my crew. I don't hate you, sir, but I can't say I don't hold you responsible. He was completely absolved. Let him finish. That's why I asked for the transfer, sir. I don't know what to think or how to feel. My hope is that by getting to know the crew my father served with, it might help me put it all behind me. Fair enough, Chief. I hope you find your answers. Well, I suppose you're all wondering why I gathered you here today. I have an announcement. I want to tell you personally to get your bags packed. The Dominion is scheduled to get underway in five days. I've heard they upgraded the photon torpedo tubes while she was in for repairs. You heard right. Shall I report to my post early and transport you aboard, sir? Not a chance. It's a tradition of mine to inspect the outside of my ship before departure. Take it as a throwback from the days of wing flight when pilots walked around the aircraft. Besides, you'll have plenty of time to beam my atoms around later. Commander, did they have a chance to install that dilithium spectrometer I've been asking for? And you'll love the improvements. It'd be good to see you again, sir. You're gonna love the Dominion, Doctor. Oh, sorry, maybe love isn't the right word. No apology is necessary. I'm sure I will find the Dominion an acceptable ship and serving aboard her an agreeable experience. Commander Tamara will make a fine ship's doctor. And we're also experimenting. She's also going to be ship's counselor. She's a... you're a psychologist? I am certified in 14 fields of medical, psychological, and emotional training. Trust me, I am a doctor. She'll do fine, Dutch. Don't worry about it. Sam, I've known you for a long time, and I know when something's eating at you. Is it the hearing? Yes, I've noticed that too. No, I'm fine with the hearing. I'm just a little puzzled. Frankly concerned. If you feel you need to talk about it, sir. No, I'm all right. Just everybody, please stay sharp for me. What's going on, sir? Honestly, I don't know the details. But something has been set in motion. Something big. 